question is from Shannon Shifty. What can I do about wrist pain? My wrists always hurt after certain lifts, such as front squats. Is there a way to strengthen my wrists, or is it a mobility issue? Mm. You know, I went through a period of time, um, and I know, Justin, you did a lot of stuff on this, too, I because did, yeah. you, because you, you do big, a lot of front squats with that front rack position. Big wrist guy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's a big wrist Lots guy. Lots of wristing. Uh, um, I, I did this for a while because I went through a period of time where I was trying to do, be able to do uh, lots and lots of push-ups. I had read a book. Um, I can't remember the name of the book, but it was like a fitness for martial arts book, and, and push-ups have always been big mm-hmm. uh, in martial arts. And the problem when I did a lot of push-ups is I noticed I had to switch to to like to those handles where my hands were in a neutral position because if I just put my hands flat on the floor, it would start to hurt my wrist. And I thought, oh, I just I'm just going to use these handles all the time. Then I read this article um, that talked about uh, – how to prevent that. And what the guy in the article said was, is he said, when you do push-ups on the ground, grip the floor. Mm -hmm. So now you can't grip the floor. Obviously I'm not actually taking a grab of the floor, but what I was doing is I was just activating my fingers and the muscles of my forearms. And I noticed my, my wrist pain went away and I didn't really think much of it. Later on, as I was training clients and I would teach them this, I realized why this helped alleviate pain. It wasn't because I was grabbing the floor. It was because taking some of the pressure off the joint. That's right? it. Yes. Yeah, because when I'm in a when you're distributing the force, when you're in a, a a position where you're relaxed, you're putting all the stress on the joint. That's it. It's the ligaments of the joint that are supporting me. It's yeah. not yeah. the muscle. Yeah. So when you want to work on any kind of mobility, mm-hmm. especially wrist mobility, you want to you want your muscles to be able to support you in various positions. You you don't want your joint. Yeah, you have to. You, and that's a great illustration. I mean, you think of that when you're squatting. You don't want to rest. You know, all that 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 force like down there in the hips, and uh, you know, put that kind of pressure there. Uh, it's the same thing with the wrists, and and yeah, that. I mean, that's a great way to look at it. I, I used to also grip, uh, you know, use towels and things to really help enhance, you know, those muscles and ligaments to respond and get them to strengthen uh, by using various techniques. And, you know, even with the fist, doing push-ups on my fist and then like really squeezing, uh, you know, uh, a tight, tight fist as I was doing push-ups. It's just really about getting them to respond and create uh, more r- recruitment there uh, to help, uh, you know, distribute that force yeah, out. Yeah, you want... A great way to work on because this guy, this or this girl, sorry, said uh, the front squats bother them. So first off, you can change your grip on a front squat. So you can do the bodybuilder style, hands crossed. But of course, that doesn't address the actual issue. That's just replacing it. Um, in the meantime, you want to be able to activate the muscles of your forearms while they're in that flexed front rack uh, position. So what I just said with the push-ups is actually a great way to do that. When you get on the floor, don't you don't need to do a push-up. Just get in a plank position. And then while you're in that position, try to grab the floor. Spread your fingers mm-hmm. and, and grab the floor so that you can activate those muscles and practice holding that position. Create tension there. Then when you get into the front rack position, do the same thing. Hands underneath the, the barbell. Rather than resting in that position, activate your hands a little bit as if you're trying to lift the, yeah, the barbell and, up. Yeah, and too, and I know this is a little bit outside of like what form uh, your wrist is going to be in, uh, but to also apply towels, like for me to, to train in, in, in that position in, in a front-loaded squat, I would put two different like small hand towels and I would actually grip it in a neutral position and I would squeeze and lift my elbows up so that way, yeah, I was connecting to that a little bit more, uh, but then <laughs> work my way closer and closer to the bar to where I could actually then start to get my fingers underneath the bar and allow that to happen. So we, little by little, you're grabbing little by cl- little. closer down the, the, the towel. Yes. We did a YouTube better. video on that. We did a regression to the front squats. Oh, we did. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. And we used Great. the towels. You know, one of my favorite wrist mobility and hand mobility movements that I never really used a lot of, but we put in our map. Our ice buckets. Yeah, OCR yeah, program. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing I was going to add to everything you guys said is I'm surprised neither one of you said anything about it was the rice buckets. I think that's that was a game changer for my clients that carpal tunnel had any sort of forearm. I issue. wish I'd have known that. I didn't use it beforehand, oh, but yeah. I started using it. I was like, oh my God, I could totally feel everything get connected and, and respond. It's an old martial art uh, uh, method of strengthening the fingers, hands, and, and, the, and the wrist. So here's what you do. If, it's super simple. You get yourself a bucket, fill it up with rice, stick your hand all inside the rice, and then Move your hand and your fingers through full ranges of motion, flexing, extended, mm-hmm. open the fingers, yeah. close, and just practice moving. And it's harder than it sounds because obviously the rice provides resistance, um, which is great now. You're strengthening all the different ranges of motion. Great mobility exercise.